Dude, is your microwave taking a big fat dump on you? Are you starving to death because you can't heat up your pizza rolls? Me too. Let's fix this. Today I'm going to show you how to replace an over the range microwave. Alright homies, for this project you're going to need a drill with a Phillips bit, a length determiner, aka tape measure, a hammer, Phillips head screwdriver, some paddle bits, I needed a 5 8 and a 1 and a half inch, a couple drill bits, I needed a 3 8 and 11 64 and lastly a large nail, that way you can mark your spots or where you need to drill your holes at. Now all these things might be a little bit different in your kit. This is exactly what I needed for the one I got. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is clear out the years of useless garbage you done put in the cabinet above your microwave. Once you get that done, you go ahead and unplug it. There should be a few bolts going through your cabinet into your microwave holding it to the cabinet itself. Go ahead and take your drill and remove these bolts. Leave one of them barely attached to keep your microwave from falling down and tearing up everything in your kitchen. Alright, once you get the two bolts out and you have the one bolt just barely remaining, go ahead and take the last bolt out. I use the power of my kitty cat surfing on a pizza shirt to help me do this. If you have friends unlike me, maybe you can get them to help you. If not, get you a kitty cat shirt surfing on a piece of pizza and take it out yourself. Microwaves are kind of heavy. They're not just insanely heavy though. But you can also cut the crap out of your hand like I did by removing this by myself. But they're held on by a bracket, so you got to drop the front and then pick up on the back to remove it. Next thing you need to do is unbox your new microwave. I don't really feel like I just have to go in depth with how to do this. Just take it out of the box. Simple as that. Alright, now you're going to have to remove the bracket that held your old microwave in. I thought I was going to be slick, get the same brand microwave and it would work. Well, I was wrong. There's a good chance that either one or two of the bolts holding your bracket in are toggle bolts. So if you try to get it out and it just spins, you want to get something to pry against the back of it and pull against your bracket while you pull it out to get the stupid toggle bolt out. Once you get all the bolts out, take your bracket out. New microwave should come with a template to tell you where to put your holes for your new bracket. Go ahead and take that out and put it against the back wall. You might have to fold it if it's a little bit too big. Just try to keep it center as you can. Once you get it up there, Take a drink of beer. You deserve it. Your template should have some highlighted spots where it says you have to have a bolt. So go ahead and take your nail and tap it into these highlighted spots. That way it'll go through the sheetrock and leave a mark let you know where you need to drill. Now you can take your template off the wall. Put your bracket up there and try to line it up with the holes you made with your nail. You should have a stud somewhere in the middle of the space where your microwave goes. So go ahead and find it and mark it so you know where to drill for it. Now you're going to go ahead and take your small drill bit and drill you some pilot holes where you're, you mark for your bracket to go. If you're lucky, you'll hit a stud. If not, you're going to have to use a toggle bolt. If you hit a spot that didn't have a stud behind it, you're going to have to take your 5 8 inch paddle bit and go ahead and drill it out through the sheetrock. If you got one that's got a toggle bolt, go ahead and put your toggle bolt through the bracket and attach your toggle bolt to the other side. I didn't do this because I had a brain fart. I don't know. I screwed up. But it's a whole lot easier on you to go ahead and put your toggle bolt through your bracket first. Then put your bracket up there, slide your toggle bolt through sheetrock, tighten it up, and then attach your other bolts that go through the studs. Microwave should come with the top template as well. This one's a little harder to deal with just because you're working overhead. Template may come a little big, so you're going to have to fold it to make it fit the, the opening you have. So take some measurements, figure out what it is, fold it, and go ahead and stick it up there. Your new template should have three highlighted spots to drill out for your microwave bolts and also one bigger spot that you need to drill out to feed your cord through. Go ahead and take your nail and push it into the center of these marked spots leaving a little indention to let you know where to drill. Now go ahead and take your 3 8 inch drill bit and drill out the three marks you made up front. This will be the bolts that attach the microwave to the cabinet. 
Now you can take your large paddle bit and go ahead and drill out the back hole. This will be for your cord to go through the cabinet. Seen a lot of you dudes with ornaments in your beard around Christmas time. The only allowable things in a man's beard is sawdust and tobacco spit. Now it's finally time to install your new microwave. This is where a buddy could come in hand, but if not, you can do it. Just man up. Go ahead and feed the microwave cord through the back hole and plug it in. Now your microwave should slide into the slots of your back bracket. So put it in at an angle like I'm doing here. Make sure it slides into the slots. And go ahead and push your microwave up until it gets all the way flush with the top of your cabinet. You also want to go ahead and pull the slack out of your power cord. Now once you get your microwave slid in place, go ahead and take your bolts and feed them through the holes that you drilled out into your microwave and tighten them up. Once you get all your bolts finger tight, you go ahead and take your drill and snug them up. Once your microwave is firmly in place, it probably come with a bunch of excessive film, protective layers. You can go ahead and take all that crap off now. Now you can go ahead and add in your little rotator thingy that your glass sits on, your glass. And it probably come with a couple filters on the bottom of it. And you go ahead and put them bad boys in. Set the clock and that is it my friends. Time to drink a beer. Stand back and look at your fine work you just did. Break out them hot pockets or taquitos and zap them suckers. I hope this video helps somebody. Please remember to like and subscribe. And leave me a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. I didn't mean to rhyme, but sometimes you gotta go with the flow. But now I'm done. Hope.